Hey, my name is Sam Kirk. I'm a multidisciplinary artist and muralist here in Chicago. I'm co-curator for Seeds in My Pocket Project. The way I got involved in this project was through Carlos and Vivian with Chicago Art Department. Uh, they reached out to me initially to ask if I knew of any artists that might be interested in participating. And because I've worked with CAD in the past and I've created quite a bit of public art projects, they also asked me if I would be co-curator and help to lead the project. The process in selecting the artists that I chose was really thinking about artists that were creating content that was meaningful and authentic to the Little Village and North Lawndale communities, but also thinking about artists who were producing work in mediums that traditionally isn't seen in the public art space. And so the, the artists that I, I selected were producing both a combination of really good content and working in mediums that were different than what we traditionally see. My name is William Estrada. I'm a visual artist and an educator, and I work predominantly in Little Village in North Longdale. So I'm really excited to be part of this project. Um, I ended up getting a DM from Sam Kirk. So um, I said yes right away, because I was really excited about the process and also the possibility of just like getting to hang out with some really amazing artists that are part of this project and having some conversations about the history of the neighborhood um, and also the spaces that are underutilized in both neighborhoods and how these benches, the work that we created, how they could be utilized in spaces to bring people together, to engage people in conversations, and also to, you know, imagine what kind of other things, right, we want in our neighborhood and how we can use art as a way to um, begin constructing them, but also engaging in dialogue with each other um, about how to make them together, but also how do we come together to have these discussions um, and how do we use art as a way to imagine the different things that we want in both Little Village and North London. Uh, my name is Marcus Aline. Uh, I'm an artist from Chicago. I paint and I draw and I create and I believe that it matters because it's going to change the world. I just uh, imagine myself doing more public art so you know when you imagine things they kind of manifest themselves so it's important to plant seeds in your mind before they become uh, tactile so uh, yeah this project is part of that and that's why I, I incorporate a lot of uh, plants in, in the painting because it, it symbolizes not just um, the present flourishing uh, it also symbolizes uh, our connection to the past uh, similar to the roots of a tree that are grounded in the earth and it also symbolizes the future where uh, future generations can benefit from the fruits of our labor hi hello um, my name is Gerardo Duran I'm from Chicago born and raised I've been creating art for 10 years now, probably more than 10 years. So I'm very grateful to be here. It feels pretty amazing to be part of this collaborative project. Uh, it's always nice to meet new people, expand my network of, of connections uh, across Chicago, especially with other talented artists. Uh, it's really great to also be part of this collective mission uh, to spread awareness and um, basically unite communities through art, which is, I think, one of the most, if not the most powerful tool humans have at their disposal when done right, when used correctly, and uh, used in a manner that challenges the way people think about their surroundings. A number of different things inspired my piece. So through my journey and through my experiences, I've met all walks of life. And I've been very grateful to see extremely privileged people, to see extremely poor people, to see extremely uh, liberal people, to see extremely uh, conservative people, and, and go beyond what the TV and the mainstream media tells us and to actually get to meet these people one-on-one -on -one and get to connect with them and, and see what they're about. So this piece, the one I'm creating uh, in this project, it's a reminder that we are all 
one people. Yes, you're black, you're white, Democrat, liberal, um, but we're all on this planet together. We're all star people, right? So just kind of a uh, nice little reminder. Hi, my name is Alexi Young and I'm the founder of Art West. I am a creative practitioner and so that means I do a whole bunch of things that's all creative and it's all connected to the community and to creating a stronger community through art. I have this wonderful opportunity to be a project lead with the Chicago Art Department and there was this beautiful project coming along and it really was an opportunity for two communities to collaborate on a series of art pieces together. So being from North Lawndale in the west side of Chicago, I live very closely um, to the neighborhood of Little Village, which is also considered South Lawndale. And I love both communities very much. And to be able to connect with other artists who are from all of Chicago, but more specifically from those two communities, it was a great idea for us to get together. We did a walking tour of both neighborhoods. We had a chance to talk and connect about you know, our roots. And what I love most about this project is that there were so many common factors of all the people that were a part of the group. We all had this collective understanding that creating art is a way to communicate with each other and to communicate a greater message to the rest of Chicago and potentially the rest of the world is that we're all connected. <laughs> That's it. But the key factor in my work is that you'll see a lot of green um, nature, flowers, vines, leaves. And for me, I think the thing that really um, is powerful in the work that I want to represent is without this earth, without this planet, without nature, um, we wouldn't even be here. My name is Dre Rodriguez and I'm a filmmaker, photographer. I think why what I do matters is because it gives people a voice, it gives people the ability to be seen and heard. Uh, well, I ended up on this team at the suggestion of a friend of mine, Sam Kirk. She uh, challenged me to try something different. She always tells me how my photography is like a, a form of a art form. And, and when I started like looking at it that way, uh, I tend to agree with that. And, uh, you know, photographers have different styles, uh, different like messages they're trying to portray through their photography. And so to be able to be a part of something like this is, is really, really challenging. But also uh, I'm excited about, you know, taking the challenge on uh, and just being around the other artists that are part of this collaborative is also uh, serves as an inspiration to just be free and be myself and just put what uh, put my vision just in, out to the world. What inspired me to create this piece is just being familiar with, with the neighboring communities, uh, North Lawndale and Little Village, and just capturing a little bit of the fabric of what those communities are about as what you know most people in the Chicago area when they hear those two names a lot of the times it just there's there's a lot of like negativity portrayed a lot of you know ugliness uh, sometimes and I just want to capture you know parts of those two neighborhoods that are beautiful that are peaceful that are vibrant and just uh, to show that part of these neighborhoods as well. And uh, just kind of like the count, to be the counter narrative to what unfortunately uh, is, is in a narrative that's out there about these communities. And just to show that there's way more to those communities than that. And I, I believe like there's more beautiful things about these communities than there is negative things. I hope that people walk away with a different perspective more than anything. I think public art really provides that opportunity for us to learn from art, to learn from artists, and to gain different insights. Um, we've had a lot of conversations in developing this project, and I think each of the benches contribute to, those, to that conversation in a different way. Um, and I'm just really curious to see, you know, how the work impacts these individuals and more than anything when we place it out into the public and in, into the space what that engagement is like with the work take time to reflect listen to your inner voice think about all the things you are 
thankful for. Uh, in order to be great, you have to be grateful and continue being a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. I want people to feel connected to their neighbors, even if their neighbors don't look like you. I like the viewer to have in their mind just how powerful art is, how like uniting art is, how eye-opening and thought-provoking art can be. And you know, I just hope people just are able just to think more about what's going on around them and how they can make an impact and whatever they don't like about what's going on around them. <clears throat> Again, it's just, uh, for me, star people, it's uh, just, everyone could agree that we're star people. I think there's there's no disagreeing with that. You know, I, I think uh, anybody on the planet, when you ask them, you think we're star people, they're all gonna say yes. You really challenge and make them think about that. We're all earth people, yeah, but uh, we all live amongst the stars, right? You just gotta remember that. We're Chinese, we're black, we're Asian. Mexican, you know, but we're all, we're all star people. If you ain't shooting with Love City, I don't know who you shooting with.